Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to wait a few minutes, 60 seconds to be exactly, to be exact, to let viewers come on. Giving you the elevator commercial music. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Monday, February 25th at 6.03 a.m. And this is your morning inspiration shot of a morning espresso shot of inspiration. I obviously have not had enough coffee this morning. Let's start again. It is Lestider Inspires coming at you live with your morning espresso shot of inspiration. What is espresso shots of inspiration, you say? It is a boat, a jolt of inspiration to kick your morning off right. Most individuals find that Mondays, they just don't like it. They, they, they dread going into to work on Mondays. And so I decided to just start looking at Mondays as a day to kick off positivity, a day to start your morning and your week off with an inspiration thought process. Hey, wait, boo. Um, a, a way to really just boost your morning, boost your week, and really start looking at Mondays in a positive light. And it's for myself as well, because sometimes I wake up like, I just want to go back to sleep, especially when it's cold outside of Chicago. I just want to stay in my blankets. But so it's a way for me to encourage you as well as why I'm encouraging myself. And so today's topic is breaking barriers. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lestina Inspires. I create innovative content for revolutionary individuals to elevate and expand their mindset and hold them accountable on their journey of healing. How do I do that? With my inspirational talks, my workshops. I do it by inspiring you, telling my testimony and transparency transparency so you can see that you too are not alone i am vibrant yes yes i woke up like hey i woke up like this well minus the eyes <laughs> Um, but yes, that, that's, that's who I am. I'm also a war winning author. My book is called Rebel Inspired, A Journey into Awesomeness. Check it out. It's on Amazon, Amazon.com as well as my website, LaSteinerInspires.com. That's L-I-S-T-I-N-E-R-I-N-S-P-I-R-E-S. -E Spell that right today. Um, so let's get started. Breaking Barriers. What are barriers? Barriers are any anything, any resistance, anything that is in is getting in your way of you being your greatest and best self. What are some barriers? Your mindset is one of them. A lot of times, well, how we think is how we act. What we think, we start to act and talk. And so we have you have to start in your mind. Um, I'm gonna read you my favorite scripture that I speak to myself all the time. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but a power, love, and self-discipline. I tell myself that on a daily basis. That because sometimes I'm faced with new challenges. Thank you for putting my, my website up there. You are the best. If you don't know who it is, go check her out. She's amazing. She's a domestic violence advocate. I mean, she has awesome apparel that's my girl she's awesome she's my accountability partner i love her check her out put your website on on the link too boo um so i tell myself this scripture on a daily basis because sometimes my mindset is will have me thinking i can't do what god has told me to do i will think that you know because I'm not well equipped or because I don't have the, the right resources or the right finance or the right look that I can't go forth and do what God has called me to do. But that is not true because God's not giving me the spirit of fear. So I tell myself that that's one barrier that I break on a daily basis. I put fear on notice by letting it know that you have no place in my life because God did not give me that spirit of fear. And it's a constant everyday thing. What are you telling yourself, right? What are you 
telling yourself to help you motivate yourself to get past certain wrong thinking. You know, identify what that thought process looks like. You're welcome, boo. Identify what that thought process looks like. What are you telling yourself that is keeping you from being your greatest self? Are you saying that you don't have enough finances? But if God is our ultimate resource, right? If he's the one that gives us everything, then even though you don't see that money in your bank account right now, if God has called you to do something, he's going to give you the resources. And oftentimes, the resources are not money. It's individuals. It's people. Look in your circle. You might have people that have the resources to propel you to the next level. You have your mind. Your mind is your greatest asset. Your gifts, your ideas. So we have to shift our thinking from what we don't have to what we do have those are barriers step out of the shadow of fear step into the light of God's truth because at the end of the day God's word about you is always going to be true even if we don't believe it it's always true a truth is not untrue because we don't believe it if it's God's truth then it's always going to be true his his word is the game plan for our life you have to also see yourself as valuable. Start making the right investments in yourself. Start looking at yourself as the ultimate CEO, ultimate building, ultimate everything for what you want to do. Start looking outside of yourself to do the things you want to do. Because when God has called you to whatever he's called you to, he knows that you are well equipped. We don't often look within ourselves to see what does God see about us that says we can do it. So I want you to today to do three things for me. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Be intentional about the thought process that you think on a daily basis. If your thought process do not it does not align up with what you're trying to go, change it. Go to God in prayer. Say, God, help me change my mindset. Second, face those fears head on because God did not give us a spirit of fear. Put fear on notice. Say, fear, you have no place here. Bars, that was a prime. Hey, well, put tell tell fear that it has no place in your life because God didn't give you that spirit of fear. He gave no one the spirit of fear. Third, look within yourself because you are well equipped. You have what it takes. You have what it takes to be the greatest you. And just for and fourth, believe in yourself. I know I said three, but I'm gonna throw a fourth one out there as a bonus. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because God believes in you. He would not have told you what to do. He wouldn't have called you to a certain thing. He had not, would have not said who you are if he did not believe it so. He created you so, so start believing in yourself. So remember, rock your rubber all you do. Break those barriers. And I want you to comment on some comment. Let me know how your day goes. Let me know what barriers you face today. Inbox me if you need help. Let's have a dialogue. Let's have a conversation. It's time that we start to shift our mindset. We're going into the third month of the year and it's time that we break these barriers so we can start to see the fruits of our labor. So we can start to see what God has said will happen in our life. So the things that God has spoken over our life can start manifesting. Break those barriers, y'all. Have a great day. Love you. Signing out with Signing Inspires. Deuces.